Hello, and welcome to this two-minute tutorial on managing the left-hand explorer. Today we're going to cover the topics of opening workouts, filter function, search function, selecting workouts, and adding KPI. So let's just jump right into the program. It's always easier to do as a demo. Um, step one is we need to select a workout or select workouts and open the left hand explorer that can be done here on the nav bar just select workouts when you do so the left hand explorer will open the left hand explorer is expandable you can grab the edge and make it if you want more screen space smaller and then once you make it smaller it is hover over and it will pop open once you hover over it pop close once you don't if you want it always open, just drag it as far as it'll go to the right and it will always be open. The left hand explorer contains, contains three sections, a search and filter section, the actual information and some key controls. Let's start with search and filter. If you pick down, you could select different time ranges for the, the workouts that are in the left hand explorer. So I have last 30 days selected and that means all of these workouts are from the last 30 days. This box is also a search box. So let's say I wanted to look for workouts that were tagged or named Zwift. I could write Zwift in there, hit enter, and it will search out. Notice it changed and now it has all Zwift workouts in there. You could always just delete your search and go back to 30 days or whatever you're doing. So that search function, if you were searching for intervals or VO2 max intervals or threshold intervals and things like that is an excellent way to find workouts that you need. Once in this filter, once you know you have your time range filter, you figured out search, selecting workouts is very easy. You simply just click on the workout and it will show you information. I have details selected, but typically you would it would open to the first dashboard on the left of the view that you have selected to review workouts within. Now you notice in my left hand setup, I have a little extra information. You might have more or less. The way that you can control what information is seen in a workout, the KPI or key performance indicator, is click on the little down arrow next to the gear wheel and you'll see here these top two are show workout title and show workout metrics. So let's say I didn't really care about the metrics. I want to turn them off. And you know what? I really don't care about the title. So you can have just a nice clean little list or you can add those metrics back to your list. It really depends what you like to see. I like to see the metrics at a workout. I think it's very helpful. So I always have them on. Let's say I wanted to go in and delete a workout. I'm going to delete this blank workout here. There's no data in here. So I want to get ready. You can always delete a workout by hitting this small minus symbol. It will confirm and I'll say delete and the workout is gone. Now, if you wanted to add a manual workout, you could just push the plus button and it creates a new workout. If you go to details, you can enter the information, what you want, maybe what, how much, you know, I did a hundred TSS for two hours or something like that, whatever it is that you want to put in to the information, you can just enter that manual workout. That's how you use the left hand explorer. Thanks.